What's up YouTube? It's Tyler back out here with Taz Outdoors. And today we're going to be looking at the Sugyalang spinning telescopic rod. This rod is, let's see the length on it, 1.8 meters, so yeah, just about six feet. It looks honestly super nice. Like, I really love the look of this thing. It's like chromed out, feels decent. I'm personally super stoked to use it. It came with like a cover to protect the eyes. Let's get out on the water and test it out, see how it feels. Got the rod all extended. It's probably, that's short. It's probably like five, six. And right now I'm throwing on a Cinco. We'll see what the visibility looks like. Not the best. We'll see if we can't get it. Switched off of weightless, went with the Texas rig. And also I have it paired with the Sugulang reel that I did a review on a couple months ago. I'll have the link in the description. It's one of my favorite reels. But we'll see if this Texas rig can do any better. It's pretty shallow pond with grass everywhere, so hopefully I can just pull through those weeds and kind of bounce it around. I, might, I probably should have gone a little lighter than what I did. Right next to the aerator, right where you want it. All right, with the water clarity being uh, terrible, switch it up to the bandito bug, the Gooby baits. See if I can get one. I haven't even used these yet. I haven't been bass fishing much, but we'll see how this thing works. something so I could feel what it would feel like on this rod. You spit it right there. Dang! Got my first bite. Dude, I did not get the set was not ideal, so we'll see if we can get another bite. Gosh dang. <sighs> He's a little guy, but still sort of landed him.
close one right here. Damn. Yeah. Spit the hook again. All right. So far, this rod sucks. I can't get enough power on my sets because it's super like, just look at that tip. It just. All right. Flung. So it's more like a six foot rod. I just discovered that you can unscrew that and extend it a little bit. So it's like a six foot. Dude, you can feel everything, but you cannot set the hook with this thing. It's annoying. If I had my other rod, I'd have two fish right now. Other than that, Guggen bait has been getting slaughtered. I mean, it's, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm getting hits everywhere. All right, so you guys saw how that was. I had two really good hits, and I'm gonna be honest, the rod did not perform well. I have already broken an eye just by casting. See this eye right here? It slides up and down and spins around and shouldn't be doing that. Um, it's flimsy, it has no backbone for catching, for laying into fish, No, you can't really set the hook. Um, I feel like I'll be able to use it for spotties and other calico bass with swim baits just because I'm constantly moving. You don't have to set as hard. But for the most part, I feel like this rod was kind of a bust. I love sugiling. I love their reels. I use them all the time. But this rod personally is just not going to work out for me. I busted it on the first try and I would have caught at least those two fish. If I had just a little more backbone, a little more touch, I would have got those. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.